Today we're doing a viewer requested video. We're going to be making French onion chicken today. Yes, you can pressure cook it. We don't like pressure cooked chicken, sorry. So we're gonna actually just do this whole dish using the saute mode. So come on over and let's get this French onion chicken started. Right now I'm just gonna go over the ingredients that are needed. This recipe will serve two people or one very hungry person. I have one chicken breast, it's around a pound. I'm gonna need two large onions, I'm putting in three onions. This is the amount of onions that I'm putting in. You're gonna need some thyme, you're gonna need pepper, you're gonna need salt. You're also gonna need some kind of oil. I'm using avocado oil. You're gonna need some beef broth. You're gonna need some butter, and you're also going to need one tablespoon of flour, which I forgot to get out, which I'll do right now. And you're also going to need some cheese. This is actually Gouda. I don't have any Gruyere in the house. That's what I, that's my preference, but this works just as good. So to start this recipe, we're gonna take this chicken breast, and we're just gonna clean it up a bit. What I mean by that is like we're gonna take off like these little winglets here, and then I just do my usual. See how thick it is up here? You wanna like cut this in half. Whoops. Just do the best that you can. You want it as even as possible, but it still works out if it's not even. Like I said, like this breast, that's perfect. This one's a little, well, lopsided. But it works, it's fine, it's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to select sear saute, Defaults to high. We're gonna hit start. We're gonna let this warm up. Next step, you wanna take some salt and pepper and you just wanna season this chicken. Once again, when you season everything, you're just building flavors. It's almost like layering flavors. While the Ninja Foodie is heating up, we're gonna we're gonna slice up our onions. And we're gonna slice these onions just like this. That is a mound of onions, but we love the onions in this recipe. This has been warming up. We're gonna take some of that avocado oil. Just gonna put a splash in there. What we're gonna do next is, we're just gonna go ahead, let that oil heat up for just a second. We're gonna take these two chicken cutlets. Just gonna swirl them around in the water. Oh, water. Oil just a bit. There you go. And we're just gonna brown these chicken cutlets. They've been cooking for a few minutes, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and flip these. And that's what we want. We want a little bit of brown on these chicken cutlets. Gorgeous. These are pretty much done browning. That looks gorgeous. This one looks amazing. So we're gonna take these out and just put them on a plate. What we're gonna add next is a tablespoon and a half of butter. You just wanna deglaze this pan with this lovely butter. I'm using a wooden spoon. This is uh, my new favorite tool to deglaze with this pan. Next, we're gonna take all those lovely onions Put them right in there. We're gonna season this as well with a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. Low and slow makes the best caramelized onions. It's like when you're making French onion soup, you cannot rush the process. You just, you just can't. We're gonna take some of that beef stock, not a lot, just a couple tablespoons and you're gonna add it to the pot. Finish deglazing that pan. Beautiful. I do wanna add a couple tablespoons of water because I want these onions to cook. At this stage, we do not wanna brown these onions. What we wanna do is soften these onions. You're gonna take a lid, you're gonna cover it. You're going to take the temp. We're gonna turn it down to medium and we're probably gonna let these onions cook. Hit start. We're probably gonna let these onions cook probably for probably between 10 and 15 minutes. And while it's cooking, you wanna check on it. Let me see if I can get this so you're not all steamed up there. 
what I mean by this is you want to check for the moisture. You must keep track of the moisture that's in the bottom of the pot with the onions in there. By just looking at this, I am going to add a splash of water. Probably like a tablespoon, between one and two tablespoons. And you're just going to put the top back on because that is cooking those onions nicely. Okay, so these onions have been cooking between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm gonna take the lid off. Now what we're going to do, we're going to let the, all the moisture cook out of these and we're gonna brown these onions up. What I am going to do right now, I am going to go ahead and increase the temperature to high. The onions are where I want them. I'm gonna take that one tablespoon of all-purpose flour and we're going to mix it with the onions. Now you want to cook this for about one minute. And by cooking the flour, it cooks the flour taste out of it. And this is going to be the, I guess they call it a roux, but this is the thickening agent for your sauce. So you just want to make sure you keep scraping the bottom because we don't want any of this to burn. That's been cooking for about a minute. We're going to go ahead and add that one cup of beef broth. We just want to deglaze the pan. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Now for that secret ingredient that gives this a lovely extra like depth of flavor. Boom! If you have Cavassier, use it. This is the only thing I have in the house. This is just a VSOP, very special old pale brandy. And what I like to do, you're just going to take a little bit of this. That's all you're going to put. Now you want to boil this. It'll cook that alcohol off, but it's going to leave terrific, terrific flavor. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add like a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Pinch that between your fingers, put that in there. Go ahead and lower the heat down to medium. That, look at this, this looks great. What I am gonna do right now, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that sauce. I'm just tasting for seasoning. Mmm, that's very good. We're gonna put a little bit more pepper. I don't think it needs any salt. We're just gonna put a splash in. Now we're gonna go ahead and add this chicken back to this pot. Now this is getting thick and everything's starting to evaporate out of it. Put it right in there. So what I like to do, you can add more beef stock if you have it. I don't, so what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of water couple tablespoons of water and we want to flip those chicken breast over we want we want them in this terrific sauce this is going to be delicious what I'm going to do is start to come up to a boil we're going to put the cover on now pay attention to this you do not want all the liquid to evaporate out I don't have a good seal with this particular lid so it might seem like a little bit like babysitting but this dish, trust me, is well worth it. All right, this is gonna be really steamy. Take the lid off, I'm trying to block the steam a bit. All right, let's do a quick temp on this. All right, we're done. What we are gonna do, we're gonna put some of this lovely cheese on here. Once again, this is Gouda. I prefer Gruyere. I think that's how you pronounce it, but once again, use what you have in the house. Use what you have on hand. The cover on, I'm actually gonna shut the Ninja Foodi off. The residual heat should melt the cheese. Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. So now what we're gonna do, at least what I'm gonna do, we're gonna plate this up and do a taste test. Just gonna take this out with a spatula. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Gorgeous. Put that nice, French onion sauce. Just being careful, whoa, a little close up there. But here's what it looks like right here. We got two chicken cutlets and a ton of the French onion soup almost. Tons of onions, you'll have onions with every bite of this chicken. Let's grab some of those onions. Piece of that chicken, I know it's in there somewhere. Tons of cheese. This is so good. It tastes like French onion soup. I mean, the chicken is like 
takes the place of the crouton, the bread piece that you put on your French onion soup. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Make this really good. <sighs> Once again, give it a thumbs up. Please like, please subscribe, hit that notification button. Head on over to Facebook, the Pressure Crisp uh, Ninja Foodie and Ninja Foodie Grill group page. We're having um, a lot of fun over there. And once again, I appreciate my viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Get Pressure Crisp out on social media. Spread the word so I can keep these videos coming. All right? Take care. Thanks.